Okay, so today's lesson should be done um, after you've already done your interview. So the first thing you're going to do is complete the, my, the interview student reflection and turn it in. And then you're going to go to this link and use it to help you compose a thank you letter to your interviewer and uh, print the letter and turn it in to me. So here's the interview student reflection. Um, now that you've completed your interview, take some time to reflect on what you experienced and how it might affect your college and career plans in the future. This worksheet will be will be used in this class, well, obviously. So uh, go ahead and type your name. When was your in, the date of your interview? Company or organization, name of the person who interviewed you, email of the person who interviewed you, um, aspects of the interview that were most helpful to you that you can use in the future. Um, what questions do you feel most prepared, you, you felt most prepared to answer? What questions did you feel least prepared to answer? Uh, what did you learn about yourself through the interview process? And what knowledge or skills do you need to strengthen to be successful in your next interview? And then make sure you submit this to this assignment. And then the second thing is use this link to help you compose a thank you letter. So let's go ahead and click this link. And uh, in addition to showing good manners, your thank you note is an opportunity to distinguish yourself as a candidate, stand out from the crowd of, of jobs, um, and gain an edge in the hiring process. Here are a few things you can accomplish in your thank you note. Remind the interview of your conversation. As part of the hiring process, interviewers often speak with a lot of people, making it easier for easy for them to forget particulars of each candidate. Um, how can you stand out? A well-written, thoughtful thank you letter reminds the interview of your candidacy and is a callback to your conversation. In your note, you can reference specific moments from your conversation. Fix any missteps. Did you flub the answer to a question? Forget to mention something obvious and meaningful? Your thank you note's the perfect opportunity to clean up the mistakes you made in the conversation. Rephrase anything you put poorly during the interview and add vital information you neglected to mention. Reinforce your candidacy, as well as seeking to make a connection with the interviewer so that you are a memorable candidate. It's also important to be clear about why you're a great candidate. What makes you a strong choice for the position? Now that you've spoken with someone from the company, more likely you're more aware um, of what's involved with the position that you were initially applied, you initially applied for. Um, use the information you've gathered during the interview to pinpoint your thank in your thank you letter what you would bring to the company and to mention aspects of the le of the job that particularly appeal to you and open the door for future communications in your note mention your interest in the position if this is your dream job say so show off your enthusiasm for the position in the company and create an opportunity for the interviewer to ask follow-up questions request references and generally be in touch so what I would do if I were you um, I'll tell you what let's go it says here that we can download this word template but instead um, go to your cover letter in your Google Drive make a copy of it okay so the headings all the same all of this will all still be the same you'll have to change the date Okay, so uh, let me see if I can find the cover letter here. Oh yeah, right here it is. Okay, so open this, and you're, you you should have changed all of this to fit you. So then go ahead and do File, Make a Copy. Or actually, I'm going to see if I can try something here. Nah, I'll just make it. You make a copy, so it's going to be copy of, copy of, and, you know, you can put your name on that, too. So then you close your cover letter. Okay, and now this should all be your information. Change the date. Make sure you spell out the month. All of this should still stay the same unless it was a different person that interviewed you than when you wrote the cover letter. Okay, um, and then 
uh, right here, I sincerely enjoyed meeting with you yesterday and learning more about the content associate position. Okay, just reword that to fit your position. Our conversation confirmed my interest in becoming a part of your business. I was particularly pleased with the prospect of blah, blah, blah. Um, I feel confident that my experiences both in the workplace and in the classroom would enable me to fill the job. Okay, blah, blah, blah. And then sincerely leave a few blank lines and then your name. Okay. And then you're going to print that and sign it. And then you're actually going to mail it. Um, and so here's, you know, here's some other examples of what you could say. Okay. Um, so use this to help you um, edit your cover letter, which is now your thank you letter. Uh, make sure that you share this with me, print it, you know, and sign it. And then when you go to mail it, Here's um, something that I think some people know this and some people don't, but I'm going to show you right now. How to address an envelope. And it's a number 10 envelope. The number 10 envelope envelopes are the long envelopes. Okay, the long ones like this. So right here, how do you address one? Well, this is your return address. That's your your name and your street address, city, state, and zipped. Make sure you write legibly, nicely. And then this is, the, what you're gonna put right here is the same information that you have right here. Okay, you know, like I said, we're, we're, gonna, we're deleting this, right? Okay, so the name of the person who interviewed you, their address, city, state, and zip. Um, the actually, you know, this is what goes there. Um, if you know how to make a, a, an envelope in Word, and print it that's even better yet but if you don't just get a you know a number 10 envelope a long one um, and address it like this and then here's how you put the uh, letter in an envelope uh, not like any of those let's see fold the letter None of these, good gosh. Um, well, you oh, right here, this probably shows it the best. You take the bottom third of the letter and you fold it up, and then you fold the top third down, and then you put it in the envelope. Okay. Um, Oh, right here. So, you know, they're showing you that's how you, you fold the, you can fold the top third down. No, we don't want to do any of that. So anyway, uh, fold the bottom third up, the top third down, put it in the envelope, seal the envelope, and then mail it uh, to your person. Okay, but make sure you send me a copy of your thank you also.